Hello, friends, and welcome back to art class once again with me, Mr. Blakely. How you doing today? All right, so we are going to be drawing what you see right there, uh, sea otters. This comes from, or this lesson was inspired by a book, and I'm going to show you that book right here. It's called Together by Emma Dodd. And this is a cool book. It's about a, a, a parent sea otter and a kid sea otter and about how much they love each other and about how they spend their time together. Um, and it's a super cool book. Parents, if if you read it with your parents, they might get a little teary because it's talking about, you know, parents loving their kids and stuff. But it's full of super cool illustrations like the one you see there on the cover. And so I thought it would be fun to take that book and to draw our own sea otter. Now, if you're obviously your kid, so if you want to imagine this is the kid sea otter, you can. Or if you want to imagine this is the parent sea otter, that's also totally fine. Um, but this is what we're going to be doing today. So I'm going to get this off the screen and let's go ahead and start drawing. All right, let's go. So the first thing we're going to do when we draw our sea otter is to draw uh, the outside of his body, which is going to be kind of a big, uh, long circle. So we'll start up here at the top of his head and let's go down and around. Back up until we reach the top again. Yay. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a curve that's the bottom of the head under the chin, this area. So we'll start about here. We're just going to make a curving line that curves down and goes back up again like that. All right, now a little ways up from that, we're gonna make um, a line that's kind of right here, above the nose, but below the eyes. So we'll start about here. We're gonna make a line that curves the other way and connects back up like that. And once you've made that line, the eyes are gonna sit on top of it and the nose is gonna sit underneath it. So let's do that. We'll start by making our eyes, which are two smallish circles. One and two, and they sit right above that line. And then just below that line, what we're gonna do is little nose, which is a half circle that goes underneath like that. Hopefully you guys are still caught up with me. Oh, when you're doing the eyes, these will be colored in, but if you wanna do like a little highlight like this, and like that. Awesome. Next step, let's do a little sea otter mouth, which is kind of the same as we draw like a cat mouth. Okay. And then, actually, a lot of these share a lot of similarities with a cat. So, like, for example, let's do this. We'll draw two curved lines like this for his cheeks or her cheek. I keep saying his. Her, there, or whoever. Draw some whiskers. And a whiskers. And whiskers, three on each side. And three. Yay. Awesome. Next step is going to be to draw our otter's ears. One's going to be up here. And one's going to be on this side right here. And then let's do a line that's the inside of the ear that curves like this. And the same thing over here, just like that. I didn't quite connect that ear. All right. So the next step is to draw our otter's arms and legs. So um, I guess they're all just legs because it's an otter, but uh, the upper legs here, we're going to start here and we're going to make a line that goes out, curves down, and goes back in like that. Do the same thing on the other side. We're going to come close, but not quite touch in the middle, or curves back out like that. 
give uh, three little lines here to indicate little finger dudes, whatever the sea otter equivalent of fingers are. All right, that looks good. We're gonna do the same thing with the feet, only we're gonna do them down here at the bottom. We're gonna do one that goes like this, and down, one that goes like this, and down. And same thing as before, only these toes are gonna be a lot longer. We're gonna go almost the whole way like that. Same thing on this side. One, two, three. All right, we're so close, you guys. Next up, we're gonna make uh, the lighter patch that is his tummy. So start at this line right here. We're gonna make a big U shape that goes down. Start it up on the other side here. Around, back up. And finish it off up there. And the final step, friends, is the sea otter's tail. And it's going to come out right about where this is. It's going to go out. And come back in like that. Oops, that didn't quite connect. All right, there's your sea otter at this point. Um, you can do some stuff. You could add a sort of watery background, right? Our sea otter is laying on his or her tummy. So you can add some waves here if you'd like. Um, you should also probably color it. Um, you, if you go back and look at my drawing, you'll see this is all black, this is all black, and this is all black. I also added some, you know, sort of other colors in as well. Um, but that's basically your, your sea otter. That's, that's the whole shebang -a bang Well, friends, this is our last, uh, art lesson of the year. Um, I'm going to miss you guys. I already miss you guys. I haven't seen you in like two months, but this was overall, I thought this was a good year, even though these last couple months have been a little crummy, but I'm proud of you guys. I'm proud of all you've done. I'm proud of how you've grown and yeah I'm looking forward hopefully we'll all see each other again in the fall back in class back at school where we all wish we were right now and yeah awesome thank you guys I'm uh, looking forward to seeing your otters and looking forward to seeing you in the future okay bye